Hello dear children, we are back with our small alphabet and we just finished learning small alphabet till alphabet U. Now we are going to learn alphabet V, W, X, Y and Z. Okay? Now while I am teaching you the formations, watch carefully. Okay children? Let's start with small alphabet V. Okay? You all know how to write the big alphabet V. It's the same thing but you have to write smaller. Okay? So watch the formation. So to write small alphabet V, you need two slanting lines. One is a downward slanting line and an upward slanting line. Okay? So, or you call it a right slanting line and left slanting line. But it's easier. This is downward slanting line. This is an upward slanting line. Okay? So let's start with alphabet V. Make a small slanting line going down like this and wherever this slanting line ends make a slanting line going upwards okay this is small alphabet V to write small alphabet W what do you need you need two upward curves see this is an upward curve okay so to write small W you need two of these curves okay so watch me first step make a small upward curve okay now join another upward curve to it this becomes your small w okay children this is your small w you need two upward curves this is w to write small x you need two slanting lines it's the same way of writing your big x but you have to write smaller okay so make a slanting line like this okay and then make another slanting line like this. So, like a cross, a small x, right? Okay? Alright, this is your small x. Now, to write small y, what do you need? You need an upward curve, a standing line and a small curve again. Watch. Make an upward curve. Stop. Make a standing line. And then at the end of the slanting line, make a small curve like this. This is small alphabet Y. And next after Y comes alphabet Z. This is the last alphabet we are going to learn. Right? A to Z. To write small alphabet Z is again very easy. You know how to write the big alphabet Z? You have to write a smaller form of it, smaller size. So first step, make a sleeping line, a slanting line and then again a sleeping line. This is small alphabet Z. Now children quickly I will show you V to Z how to write big and small. Okay, quickly watch me. Okay, like this is your big V, next to it you will write a small V like this. Okay, this is your big W, right? Next to it you will write a small W like this. Okay? This is your big X. You will write a small X like this. Okay? This, let's write Y here. This is your big Y. You will write a small Y like this. Okay? And this is your big Z. You will write a small Z next to it like this. So this was your alphabet from V to Z. Let me show you quickly in how will you write it in your square notebook. Again, Everything has to be inside the square. Nothing should come below this line. Okay? So quickly watch how I am going to write alphabet V. Your slanting line and an upward slanting line. This is small alphabet V. For W, you need two upward curves. Watch. Upward curve 1. And then to this join another upward curve. This is your W. Okay? To write X, you need two slanting lines, one and the other one crossing it like this. This is your small X. To write alphabet Y, you need an upward curve, standing line and a small curve. Upward curve, slanting line, no, small curve, Y. To write alphabet Z, make a sleeping line, slanting line, the sleeping line line, slanting line, the sleeping line. So
so you all know your alphabet from a to z right children so practice this for class work i'll send it for homework and from tomorrow onwards we will write a to z then we will write big a and small a together watch quickly children i want to show you something like how i showed you this so when you write big a you write small a next to it like this right children see big b and then a small b and so on okay so i will send you a video again showing you big alphabet and small alphabet okay once before we revise everything but for today let's revise small v to small z okay bye bye children